Hey, what's going on, guys? I hope everyone's doing well. Welcome to another episode of Goalie Doctor, where we will be breaking down the gameplay of Andanis. Now, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm really glad he sent me this clip in because he admittedly told me he is just starting out at goalie and he's wondering why he's giving up so many goals. He's playing offline via pro, and like many other people who are just starting out, he's getting scored on by the computer a lot. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't get discouraged. That's what I'm here for. Remember, guys, if you have any questions about goalie, feel free to ask me down in the comments or on Twitter. You can send me your clips into EASHLGoalieTips at gmail.com, and I'll take a look at him and try and help you out. So let's get started. One of the first things you'll notice is that he has the shot lane feature turned on in the on-ice visual trainer settings. This is an offline feature only, but I encourage you guys who are just starting out and who are having issues to turn it on, especially if you're a beginner, it gives you a general idea where you need to be into relation where the puck is. Now this is something I picked up on for the first shot you faced. You're unsure of your movements, which is perfectly acceptable since you're new to the position. You keep bumping into the post, trying to move over further than you can actually go. Once you hit that invisible wall there, there's no point trying to move over anymore. Either stay still or hug the post depending on the situation. Most of the time against the CPU, you don't need to hug the post. There are exceptions. Uh, you don't want to throw your goalie into an unnecessary animation just in case they shoot while you're while you're moving like that. Keep your movements simple. You do not have to move every inch the puck carrier moves. You'll see you go out of position and all of a sudden you're moving into the shot. You make the save, but you're way out of position to save the rebound if there was one. Being under control will help you be still when the shot comes and give you a better chance of making a second save just in case there is that second shot. Now on your first goal here, your positioning from the time this play develops until the shot happens is the reason this goes in. You moved way too much to the right on the first pass. So when the D-man passes it over to the other D-man, you have a long way to move back. You overcommit on the way back to the left, which is why it goes in low blocker. In this screenshot, you were in the right position and then you just moved out of the way. That's the only reason it went in. Now on the second goal, it's pretty evident here why the puck went in. You have to scramble back into position after hugging the post. But there's a bigger problem than just on this goal. You have a tendency to hug the post unnecessarily. I've noticed it throughout the gameplay, and even when there isn't a shot coming, you kind of just get heavy fingers. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's definitely you hugging the post, but you're kind of like when you get in scrambly mode, you you kind of, it's like hug the post is your safety net or something like that. I can't exactly explain it. it a couple of points I want to make here. Positioning isn't just about where you are when the shot comes. It's everything leading up to that point as well. So if you're out of position when, before shot's taken, you have to scramble back to get into the right position. If there's no shot now, then you're behind the play and it's going to be an easy goal for the other team. Or, like in the first shot you faced in the game, you're going to be moving into the save because you're out of position and you have to scramble back. Your goalie is going to slide away out of the net after the save, and it's going to be an easy goal on the rebound. My next point is just a review of when you need to hug the post. Remember, this is for online. Offline, you barely have to hug the post unless it's clear the CPU is going short side from in close. When the puck is near the goal line is the only time you should hug the post. So that includes behind the net as well. Here's just kind of the areas visually represented where you need to hug the post. Okay, on this goal, once again, it's a result of you moving too much. You don't have to move every inch with the skater. Don't move unless you lose coverage of the puck, all right? Okay, this goal. So here you hug the post. That's fine. We've been over the difference between online and offline. Frankly, I think it's okay to hug the post in offline mode since it creates good habits for facing human players. The reason this goes in, your movement. Yep, again, you came off the post a little early. But you also started to move to the left, again, way too early. If you had just come off the post and sat there, you would have saved it. But since you made this little extra movement to the left, you get pulled out of position and they, and they go short side on you. Now this goal is just kind of weird. I know you asked me in your email if these goals were your fault or attribute based. This is an attribute based. If you had a drop to butterfly on the pass, you would have saved it. But I know why you're standing up and it's just lack of experience. Don't think you have to drop your butterfly on every pass or anything like that. Definitely do not do that. You're going to give up a lot of goals if you do that. Trust me, just 
this play, the puck carrier has the puck along the boards and he has no shot. So you should be staying still. Once again, you're kind of fidgeting, which is weird. Uh, focus on the open players while you're not moving. The puck carrier has his back turned, so you, it's okay for you to look away for a second. Eventually, you're going to be able to read the skater coming towards you and react to the pass once it's released. That's it. The other goals were either just cheesy or a result of the other problems I mentioned. I recommend you review the basic positioning, and I have a video on that, so let me know if you need help finding it. Just learn to be a little more patient. There's, there's nothing wrong with standing still until you know exactly where you need to be. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, guys.